How do you do, my friends and people everywhere, mothers and fathers and their children, people ages 4 to 94 and less and more? For I am of the view that these things are enchanting for all. I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller, and we do some enchanting things for inquiring minds. First, I want to tell you a story which may well be entitled The Case of the Can with Two Holes and Little Sam. It goes as follows and has beautiful physics. On a certain program, I did the case as follows. A can of juice into which I put a hole and from which the juice does not too well emerge. Not at all. Whereupon I put another hole, and now the juice doth much emerge. Look at that. And the path is a parabola. And so, having done this on a certain television program, the next day I encountered a little boy by the name of Sam, five years old, with whom I discussed what he had seen. And he said to me, Professor, I'm so very glad you did that experiment with the two holes in the can. I have seen my mother do that because it doesn't come out so good with one hole and comes out very good with two holes. And you know why I'm glad you did that experiment and explained that the stuff needs one hole to come out of and the air needs the other hole to go into? He said, I'm very glad you did that and explained it because it is something I have not understood all my life. Little Sam, age five, didn't understand it all his life. That's story number one, which has an enchantment. Story number two concerns the case of the empty pail. The case of the empty pail. You are to understand that I am standing in the doorway of my garage. Door open. Here I am standing in the doorway. And a neighbor yonder shouted, Professor! I said, yes. He said, do you have an empty bucket I can borrow? I said, huh? He said, do you have an empty bucket I can borrow? Come over. He came over, and here he is standing beside me. I said, what did you want, my dear neighbor? He said, do you have an empty bucket I can borrow? I said, no, I do not have an empty bucket. Now, within six feet of us on the garage floor were two buckets, one and another one inside the one. And he looked over like that, and he said, why, Professor, there are two empty buckets. I said, no, my good neighbor, they are not two empty buckets. The lower bucket has the upper one in it, and the upper one has air in it. And this bucket is not empty. He put his hands to his head, and he went home, and I have never been troubled by a request to borrow a device again. And thus has a physicist disposed of a troublesome dilemma. <laughs>